Greetings Richard John Karim Chartra, Bishop of London, currently micromanaging St. Paul's Cathedral. We are anonymous we occupy the front line at Occupy London Stock Exchange. We are the people who sleep at your feet. Since the beginning of the international movement known as Occupy, on the 15th of October 2011, your cathedral has been noticeably ineffective when addressing various important points, particularly related to the occupation currently encamped outside St. Paul's Cathedral, with stating that it agrees in principle with these points. It is with this issue that Anonymous now addresses you, Bishop. St. Paul's Cathedral has experienced three resignations since the 15th of October 2011. This was neither the aim of the Occupy movement nor the aim of Anonymous. However, knowing the loss that these three men have willingly incurred, Anonymous acknowledges and thanks these men for the strong and principled stance that they have taken. Anonymous does not forget. St. Paul's Cathedral, on the other hand, remains in the balance. Only when there was a huge groundswell of discontent in respect of the cathedral's silence on the matter of the occupation, did the cathedral hierarchy finally make a public statement in which it said, in part, that it was seriously considering pitching tent with the occupiers, as a mark of solidarity with their various principled causes. This fact was reiterated to a member of Anonymous, when our member approached you. Sadly, this statement has yet to be fulfilled and is, in the eyes of some, starting to be considered as nothing more than a lie. Anonymous takes no political or religious position and dash ever. However, Anonymous stands alongside any and all who want a better, fairer and more just world. Therefore, the unfulfilled statement of St. Paul's is difficult to be viewed as anything but a lie at this stage. On the 15th of October 2011, Occupy LSX and Anonymous pitched their tents in about 30 minutes. St. Paul's has failed to do anything in over two weeks. Anonymous would, therefore, like a statement from St. Paul's Cathedral, in respect of its views and opinions about the location of the occupation and the stance it takes regarding its aims. Bishop of London, Anonymous must also raise with you another concern over an additional statement made on behalf of St. Paul's Cathedral that being that it would throw open its doors if violence were to be visited upon the occupiers outside St. Paul's Cathedral. Given the non-action of St. Paul's Cathedral in respect of Anonymous occupying its land and so not subject to legal action, Anonymous feels that it would be prudent of St. Paul's Cathedral to reaffirm its support for the sanctity of the right to protect slash occupy and also reaffirm its willingness to throw open its doors if violence is brought against the occupiers by anyone. Anonymous is not subject to legal action at the moment and St. Paul's Cathedral has stopped its initial legal action against the entire occupation. Therefore, it would seem unfair, in the eyes of Anonymous, if St. Paul's Cathedral were to take no public position in respect of the people encamped outside its walls, whether they be Occupy LSX or Anonymous. Anonymous is the people. We stand in support of the Occupy movement, whilst remaining separate and removed from it. Anonymous could have been kept on the 16th of October 2011, but we remained, because the aim of this international occupation movement is too important not to support. Therefore, Bishop of London, Anonymous request a statement from St. Paul's Cathedral before January 11, 2012, which is, when the High Court makes its final declaration on the matter of the occupation outside St. Paul's Cathedral. Anonymous is now an unstoppable force, because, quite simply, we are the people. We never has an issue with St. Paul's Cathedral but we must now ask that clarity be given. Failure to do so would place the reputation of St. Paul's Cathedral and the Church of England in jeopardy ellipsis points, as no one likes a liar or a hypocrite, least of all Jesus Christ, who, in his time, repeatedly called the synagogue elders and leaders, hypocrites. Anonymous awaits the public response from St. Paul's Cathedral. We are anonymous, because none of us are as strong as all of us united, as one divided by zero we do not forgive we do not forget expect us, 